All right, what's up to everybody that is going to be coming in and, and seeing this? I got something that is on my mind um, because of something that I saw today. And, um, and then also conversation that I had late last night that I probably need to do an update. Um, update some information because of something that I recently said on Monday night show and because of what I said on my live show. So I got some more information concerning that. Okay, so let me go ahead and all right and bring that on up in here right quick. Um, okay, so <clears throat> this is it. Number done one is getting cold here in Atlanta. It's getting a little nippy. Um, not sure why. I guess a cold front came, so this may be it. It may be like this October, November, December. January, February after that. We don't have but like four months when it's like really cool. And and they just be cool. They don't be cold. I miss living more north. We have more winter months. I love the, the, the winter, the fall and the winter. Okay, anyway. So I'm here we go. <clears throat> uh, where am I at? Oh, thank you. Um, Hello to everybody. Have I ever said hello? Yes. Okay. All right, so this is the thing. Number done one, the Clark sisters have new music that is coming out. Now, I have known this for some time. And this did not happen as a result of um, the movie. They were already working on new music prior. For those of you that do not know, um, I happen to be a Stella Award nominated gospel artist so therefore i got some ties all throughout the industry so when it comes to who's working on what what's going on behind the scenes sometime depending on who it is i may know what what in the whole hell in heaven is actually going on so anyway why why do my thing see my screen on turn uh, black is your brightness down no it won't but a few minutes ago it's turned black since i've been on but it's all right it's fine i won't be able to see what they're saying you have to tell me what they're saying <clears throat> okay, so anyway, they got they're working on new music. I they just posted on IG. Isn't it amazing now you can announce what you're doing and new music coming? You can do it by a post online when before you used to have to do these big old all so much other stuff in order to tell for what you had going on. But anyway, <clears throat> now how am I gonna get straight through there? They have new music that is coming out. Now, according to what they just posted on the social media occasions IG it looks as though that the lead single that's also on Karoo Records which is a whole discussion that I want to have right now now you know Karen Clark Sheard and her husband Drew with the little boy they have a label and the label is Karoo now I think they also if I remember correctly during the time when my single was out Brett Keller has always most of the time been the Clark family's radio promoter and that happened to be my radio promoter for like a year and a half so when she was shopping what was that song was it prayed up no 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 it was another one it might have been prayed up parade. crazy parades there was some shopping my first single at the same at the no my they were shopping my single at the same time but anyway and then he was doing um kiara shears that's brett keller and also neely dickinson <clears throat> who would produce uh, of the one of the main producers for Sunday Best, the first go round? All right, so the last one, the last time, Clark Sisters for the last time, I think came out on Karen and her husband label, but this time, because that was supposed to be the last time that they were going to be doing any anything, and it was actually Bishop Drew Shear that got them to do it. So I'm thinking, and this is allegedly, that he basically paid for it and put it on that label now, and I think Karen's last CD came out on Carew too if I'm not mistaken and I think J Jonathan Nelson that's now at New Birth his song, his last CD or CD before last came out on Carew as well but I think he ended up getting dropped because sales doesn't do good alright I'm going to say allegedly because I'm going off memorizations now what ended up happening that was very interesting to me once i realized that they were making new music they were actually going around to different producers donna lawrence kurt carr 
I don't know if they use Cedric from North Carolina this time or not because I don't know all the songs of them. I'm pretty sure they use Karen's song. But now they have chosen number one. Two labels were sort of going back and forth for them the, to release their new CD. And the labels were, I'm thinking Carew was probably in there too. But the labels were, oh, thank you. Jeez, look at that. This part. The labels were um, Motown. Look, Motown has a gospel leg now. And also, oh, shoot. What is the name of that other label? They were Motown and uh, RCA. Motown and RCA. <laughs> I mean, RCA pretty much the only gospel label there is right now. So it was Motown and really Motown and RCA um, was going back and forth with them. Thought they were going to be with RCA, especially by looking at some of the producers that they use, because I do know Kurt Carr produced one of their CDs one of their songs and the name of this song is called favor or good favor so out the blue a day and a half two days ago motown posted on their ig talking about their up and coming music we saw last week they were getting pictures and makeup and stuff done and twinkle look really well let me say this one of the accomplishments i believe during that whole denise interview was that we got attention put on Twinkie like never before because she was saying that she wasn't really cared for and all this thing and whatever else she said. I think that's what she said I was going off memory, but she was concerned about her. I kept pushing the fact that her clothes never were always ill-fitting and that her wig needed some help. Her hair and makeup weren't right when the rest of the sisters looked like they stepped right ready for the red, red carpet. But ever since then, if you have noticed, Twinkie Clark has looked like the Twinkie that we know. The happy married to Elder Terrell, you know, um, John John Mama having a good time, Gap showing in her mouth, smiling real big Twinkie with that twinkle in her eye, which we haven't seen that twinkle in her eye, if you ask me, um, in a while. But now it looks as though, in my opinion, y'all go eat. I'm coming later. Um, Move start at seven. I told you. I do it myself. Never mind me. I do it myself. I can't now I'm live. I can't. Okay. okay, so um anyway. <clears throat> the um God, took my got my mind off. What's the name? Oh, okay. So but Twinkie looks really, really good now, which I'm really glad about. And her hair was looking good. Even when she's off doing her own thing on the side, she looked really good. So that's that's really good as well. So they two labels Motown and also RCA going back and forth, but I guess Motown won, and I guess Motown changed the trajectory of the album. Now you remember Wendy Williams had invited them to come sing. They still haven't done that. I'm thinking that they are going to accept, probably already accept that they're going to do it during the release of the movie. The movie comes out for first quarter 2020. Now I'm supposed to get that trailer. So when I get the trailer, I'm supposed to have permission to drop it. So when I get the official trailer, not the one they've done at the um, film thing, but the full reel, I am going to drop that. Now, Motown won, and it looked as though they changed the trajectory of what they were doing because I was hoping that they would take the single that I heard leaked out of California, I mean, out of Texas, called Favor by Kurt Carr. I was hoping they would just go to Wendy and sell that. I mean, yeah, when I say sell it, like push and do the song and do really good and everybody download, get all the, you know, how that, how that go. But I didn't know at that time that the movie deal had been, you know, possibly on the table with Lifetime um, or whoever it was. I think it's Lifetime. It was a week TV. I think it's Lifetime. So I see what they're doing. They're going to be releasing the movie, releasing music. And going on Wendy and probably doing a press junket all at one time. So the Clark sisters as legends are really still relevant in the gospel music. You know, which we see that happening even on the R&B side. I mean, you got a whole lot of the old heads and the old music. SWV. Uh, um, what's the girls that sing? Uh, Candy Nam. Candy, Candy Barras. All of them. They got all that stuff going on. You know, so it's really where it's, things are sort of, you know... The, Blast from the past, that's the future that kind of going on. Okay, now. Now, this is the thing that I'm like. The post on IG is for victory. 
Now, what I'm thinking is that they're choosing, I got it. I think I, I don't want to sing as on what get my video flagged, but it's called Victory that Twinkie wrote because if that's the lead single, then you get all those spans and you get all those sales, you know, you get that resurgence of that check, you know, and that really pays the clock just where they can make some money on the back end, you know, although they may have to give us some of the publishing with Motown. I don't think that needs to be their single, although could be a good idea because that the old, old, those that are Clark Sister fans like myself, we know that song and we would love to hear them on it now. I don't know how to, but I think that star, I got the power. Well, she probably, she can still sing that, but this is what y'all need to do with Twinkin'. Right now, Karen or whoever's around there, that's the Armor Bears, right now, take Twinkin' off dairy, no cheese, she only can drink water, no juice, get her with them breathing things so she makes sure all her vocal cords stay wet, all the way up to the recording when she goes to the studio, we are getting Twinkie. Because I think with the medicine that she's taking it dry her vocal cords and she's not able to do what she do. And that we just cannot have that. We want to hear Twinkie. We want to hear the, the v Clark sister Twinkie. And I also want to say y'all need to reconsider concerning what the single is going to be. The single that I heard that Kurt Carr did. Oh my God, I wish I can play it for you guys. But I don't want my video flagged. The video is the bomb. They're doing all the stuff that's classic Clark Sisters. Even Jackie sounds really good. I'm not saying Jackie's a bad singer. I never said she's a bad singer, but you know she's not a lead singer. But she sang even on the, she's done real good. Then Twinkie do this, the high, then she do the low, the two bottom low parts. And I found out that in the studio, she really authentically did that in the studio. You know, so they need to do good favor or favor. I got that good favor. So I think it's called good favor. So they need to do good favor and not victory. So Motown, give us good favor because the message of the song is basically talking about how the Clark sisters have been able to continue to do music, stay relevant all these years because God has given them good favor. That goes with the theme. That's going to do better for the movie release. That's going to do better for new Clark sister fans. I think you need to go with good favor. Do not do victory. I. That's what I want to say concerning that. And that may come up again. Because I want to say something about Twinkie. Oh, did y'all see on the front cover how Jackie is the only one with gold hair this time. And so she stands out. Like Karen or Dorinda. And they all got black or dark brown hair. And then uh, Jackie is like front and center with silver hair. She looked more like a car sister than the car sisters. I don't know how that... Anyway. Well. This is the next thing. So, I've done my live show on Saturday. And part of my live show, because you guys have been asking me since the summer, June, when that video came forward with... Denise in that video and in that video she said some mention of something about housing that made us feel like as though possibly she didn't have nowhere to stay or that she was in a shelter or something of that nature and we saw her walk up to a podium and sing but she was walking with the walker now for me this was a shocker because mind you I'm, I'm out of them the four part um, uh, uh, interviews with her I ain't heard about no walker I don't know sometimes she go to the doctor like normal people that's in their 60s and whatever. And so this thing won't make no sense to me. And so I couldn't figure this thing out. So I started asking around. She won't ret wasn't returning my phone calls or nothing. It wasn't until October the 5th when she responded back to me like her normal self, talking about the goodness of the Lord and the scripture and whatever. And I said, okay, it's really good to hear from you. And I thought, you know, it was good that she responded back to me because I thought things weren't that good because... There was something that I said on a live that she did not like. And it was my opinion. I explained, you know, that's, that's what it was. But so when I heard from October 5th, I'm like, okay, that's good. We still in a good place. So when I do my live show, one of the things I want to do in my live show is to give and is to just talk about Denise and possibly, you know, just shine some light on her. The whole reason why I talked about that Denise and was so glad to be able to do the video and still talk about her because there were so many people that had no clue she even existed. And y'all know what I do with my platform when it comes to women and children, especially when children or people have been buried. And to me, the, 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 um, Denise was buried. 
And during the interview, I knew it would put my relationship that I had with Dorinda on the line, and it did. Um, I think one, I, I think people have a trouble with discerning your, my heart. Let's talk about me. My heart, maybe this happened for some of you, when you have opinion or criticism concerning something that they do or say. I don't have any relationships in my life to where I can't tell somebody, you know, this thing that you're doing right here, I don't agree with this. This is stupid and this is foul, da, da, da. And I still love you. So maybe I've been spoiled by the people in my life I don't know. But when I notice a whole lot of people have problems with that and because of that, she blocked me on social media and on her iPhone. You know, once that thing go green, you know, you ain't, you ain't in there no more. Now, I did share a text that she gave me in response to Denise and what she said. And I shared it publicly. Now, that was in the haste of me moving quick. You know, doing this job, I made mistakes. And she said that she was upset about it. I apologized and everything was all right. But then later on, way later on, I tried to hit her up and she had blocked me. So I'm thinking some of that, along with my commentary, probably ain't nothing she heard directly, but it all come from what somebody near her told her, because this is just how it works in this job. Because a lot of people are not going to sit and watch me for hours upon hours, except the consumer, and not a lot of times the people I'm talking about. So they go back and tell these people what I done said, and they ain't even really, and what I, it ain't even nothing what I said. Or they take what I said wrong. So, but I still continue to talk about Denise because for me, I wanted to make sure she stayed alive in the media. And so I'm going to continue to talk about it. So I talked about it on Saturday. And what I said was what we all saw. We saw her in the walker. There's something that she said that sounded as though something was wrong with housing. And so I made a comment about it in my live recording. Those of you on Patreon, you're going to hear that comment. Then I mentioned it in my Monday show that she wasn't doing well. Well, I hadn't talked to her since June or whenever it was. And the only thing I saw was what y'all saw on social media because she wasn't responding. So I heard for her June, July, August, September, October, four months later, things have totally changed for her. So yesterday I done a post letting you know that Denise is well physically, mentally, financially, and there's so many different doors that have opened for her. And you're going to see her really soon in your city and also some stuff she's doing with music. But it's just taking time because, you know, she just don't have a big, huge team. And so that is going to happen. That is going to transpire. That's still in the works. And she wanted me to let you guys know that she is doing well. So tell everybody that may have heard that she wasn't doing well either, either because of what I said or because of that video that went viral that came from that church that she went and sang at and taught that. Let them know Denise is doing well, very well, and she's working on some things um, that we're going to all be able to enjoy and celebrate with her really, really soon. Now, getting back to the Clark sister thing, I think that it's extremely important that the Clark sisters will get some I'm glad they went more time and more town and maybe they have great people in their team. But I think you guys this time around, since you got the movie and you got the new music is to listen to your consumers and come back. Look at this video and look in the chat. We're here on Facebook now. I'm about 600 people who are watching. I'm going to put it over there on YouTube and look in the comments and see what the people are wanting. Of course, we want y'all to just call Denise and find a way. I don't know what you got to do to make everything okay because we want one song with Denise something and do her. What's that song she used to do? Um, oh, God, what is the song Denise did? Y'all remember what Denise's song is? What, what is Denise's song. What is the name of her song? It's slipping my mind. Um, but we would love to, would love for that to happen, but I don't know if that could happen. But more than anything, we want to see all you guys together, especially when it comes to um, this movie, because all of you are going to be in it. If you guys can get together and do something, that would be really, really well. Somebody said to me, if you want to see them do something together, why you keep talking about the Clark sisters? Because... 
it is content and it is public and we can all learn from it especially those of us like my mama sister they five girls you know i think that this is a conversation that needs to be had we're people that we look up to are struggling in their personal relationship and i think we can all learn from, from that and we see what role everybody plays it is clear that you have denise of course she's the outcast could be called the black sheep however you want to put it then you have twinkie she's between denise and her sisters she seems to be the peacemaker from the outside looking in but we don't know then you got dorinda who seems as though she's probably in between you know her older sister jackie you know and then you got twinkie and denise and probably don't want to make nobody mad on either side and karen i would say that her and dorinda in the same spot but karen this last few years is showing yeah i love my sister um jackie but i love my sister denise and her son you know that goes to a church i love everybody and i want everybody to work together she keeps making mention over and over of denise so for me and this whole thing y'all know i'm a twinkie lover i'm a clark sister lover but I've always loved Twinkie prior to all of this. And now I've done added Denise to that list. And it seems as though Dorinda always been my girlfriend. It, it, seems, as, it seems as though that Karen for me in all of this has really became the champion. For me, Karen has stepped up and came forward and really taken the, the initiative to bring the spotlight on her sister, to acknowledge that our family isn't 100% together, the devil is alive, we're going to continue to pray, and da-da-da-da-da. She always speaking positive of Twinkie, even says in some interviews that Twinkie was her, is her vocal, you know, example and whatever. You know, for me, Karen is really looking like the first lady that she is, and Karen is really looking like the bishop's wife. She's really looking like the first lady. I'm going to say this, and I ain't cold yet, but she's sort of looking like the first lady of a cold yet. She's She's looking like what Blake wife is, but even with more of a voice. She's sort of looking like the first lady of cold yet, like the example to me. Let me see what y'all saying. Yes, Dorinda did block me. Listen, she blocked me on the cell phone. She blocked me one of my pages on what's the name jackie blocked me from both pages or one of my one of the pages they probably didn't somebody got to show them what to do twinkie blocked me but that was larry um but i think um i'm unblocked on one of them pages but karen didn't block me on any on anything so i just been paying attention to everything it looked as though I'm paying attention. I, I pay attention to everything. Everything I pay attention to. And this is very interesting, interesting to me. So those of you that may be close to them, tell them this. Continue to keep Twinkie hair fixed and the clothes fitting to where her sleeves are not longer on her hands like this. I got tired of sitting. I said, why in the world? She can't even play the organ. She can't. How's how she going to play the organ? And her sleeves be like this. I don't know because she lost weight or what. What? How's she going to? She can't play nothing like that. It's in the way. It's in the way. Mm. I ain't got no time making no fake account to go look on somebody that done block me. I just asked somebody else. I ain't got time for that. But anyway, so <clears throat> keep on doing that and change your mind about victory. Although I'm still going to listen to it no matter what it is. And go do good favor that Kurt Carr wrote for y'all. I got the whole song. If I didn't love my platform, all my platforms include Patreon, I will leak it. But the song is so dope. Y'all know how Kirk can write and arrange a song. That that is it shows the best of the Clark sisters and it talks about them coming back together. That needs to be the single. Because and then they all come out at the same time. The movie is gonna be good. All right, what's this here? I'm glad they're keeping them house shoes on her with them stockings. Yeah, but they done upgraded the flats. She can wear flats. They all, they all need to. They, um, Dorena can still wear heels, but getting up in age, you let go of them heels and keep your legs so you don't have them, um, them, them issues. Let 
me see. All right, I'm gone. I'm about to go ahead and watch this movie. And I'm going to post on the Larry Reed Live Facebook account what movie I'm going to go see. And I don't care how, what y'all going to say about me because the movie that I'm going to go see, you might think that I shouldn't be going to see. You might try to take my man card. But fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'm going to do what I want, what I want to do. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. <clears throat> See, my voice messed up. Let me get me a ginger mint. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Nope, stay with Donna Lawrence. Donna Lawrence wrote the video. No, he he, he got O'Connor all joys that song. I'm gonna do. Uh, I, I'm gonna do and say what I wanna do. Mm. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'm gonna do what I wanna. I'm going to do and say what I want to do. Hold on, I got to fix that part. I'm going to go back from the top. Da, 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 da. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'm going to say and do what I want to <coughs> <wanna, coughs> do. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. One more time. Mm -hmm. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you. And no, I'm not cold, cold you. And your whole family. Fuck you. I'm going to do and say what I want to do. I feel good real on that. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'm going to say and do what I want to do. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you and your whole. Fuck you. Fuck you and your. Oh, I left an F out of there. An R out of there. Let me quit playing with that because I want to mess around and cuss because I'm saved. <clears throat> I ain't gonna make it seem like that I don't cuss because sometimes I do cuss through text. And I cuss to be funny with comedy. Oh. But acting like I was going around cussing. Oh no, I don't do that because I'm too safe for that. The, I'm gonna tell you, the only sin in my life is when I do that. Um, sin. And when. I said, look, cuss words. <laughs> and our, uh, uh, one other thing that I won't say publicly, this is my privacy. Um, and food. Woo! I'm about to go in there and see right now before the thing starts. They say it's starting in 30 minutes. Lord, I ain't got time to order nothing. Oh, on my other phone? I can text what's the name to get me something on my other phone. Wait a minute. You see, it says leading from the future. Prophet Kaja, my mentor gave me that. And y'all know my mentor said, he said a cuss word when him and Brian Khan was fussing. So I'm walking in his anointing. Blame Master Prophet. Okay, what's this boy number? Please get me the frat. No, get me the. I hate to even let y'all hear this. I'm about to say bacon cheeseburger with extra pickle and an extra strip of bacon and a sprained. Hurry the hell up cause we got 30 minutes. 
before the moving starts. Thank you so much for helping me out and let me, oh, and add this to daily total to transfer to you. Thank you, you country, a mother frucker. See, I told you I cuss through text sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> all right. See y'all later. Take care of yourself. And I want you, let me tell you this here. Be happy. Be happy. It could be worse than what it is right now. I'm telling you, it could be worse than what it is right now, but it ain't. So you all just get up when I hit finish or on this on Facebook. I want you to give God the biggest praise that you can give. Throw your big head back. Take a deep breath and just say, thank you. Make sure you round it off at the end. Don't say, thank you. Don't do it like that. Bring your voice down. In the, in the, thank you. Let go off through you. On the, it goes through your body, so your whole body be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. All right. No, I don't really have the cough now. It's just um, if I start talking a whole lot, I, I think I got to clear my throat. There's no more um that stuff like that. I'm 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 on the up and up now. Yeah. One more time. Larry, did you see the video about the pastor whose wife exposed him? No, the wife did not expose him. I heard allegedly that David's was David was trying to get with this other girl. So he sent that video of him eating somebody else out to her. And she was like, nigga, you was a whole ho and a pastor and Mary. And she put it out. That's what I heard. Right before I leave. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Sometimes you got to tell people that. Because it ain't just them. They come. See, your last name, your family last name, last name is Reed. That's the spirit I was birthed through. And some folk come from a family that need to be told, fuck you, all y'all. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'm about gone now. I feel the spirit lifted. <laughs> fuck <laughs> Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. I'ma say and do what I want to do. Fuck you and your whole family. Fuck you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bye. i see y'all later. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do. And if you do decide to do it, at least... Wear several condoms. Call the stuff that's out there now. Eat through one. Bye.